The young people that were engaged in this particular project typically are young people who have either dropped out of education, training and employment, or maybe traditionally haven't done so well in school, um, and are usually the young people who, if this intervention doesn't happen, are likely to be long-term unemployed. They're generally maybe coming from families which have had maybe generations of work success as well, and so it's, it's crucial that this project exists. Um, and, and the project's really been able to benefit these participants in a number of ways, but one of the crucial ways really is, is essentially providing them with the skills that they need to progress in life, to open up the opportunities that maybe are out there in, and, and at the moment maybe maybe are not out there so much, um, but particularly as well looking at the barriers um, that are present in their lives. And that could be anything from um, maybe some personal social issues, it may be a bad family background, it may be breakdown in the home, it may be homelessness, it may be drug and alcohol uh, issues, it could be getting involved in gang violence, it could be forced marriage, it could be a whole list of different issues, if you like, which we see our young people facing day in and day out. So a crucial part of this project is really about trying to support them so that they can overcome their obstacles. Um, and in some cases, it's obstacles that maybe are not going to disappear, so it's just about providing that support so they've got the relationships there to help them achieve, to progress into the employment, but crucially, six months down the line, 12 months down the line, they've got that relationship there to help them sustain in that employment. So another main way that this uh, project has really been able to benefit the participants is by actually creating the job opportunities. Um, essentially, we can provide all the training and all the wraparound support, but if there's not the actual opportunities for the young people to progress into, then it becomes a bit of a dead end. So a big part of what we do with this funding is employing what we call employment progression workers who go out there and liaise with um, a number of employers in London to try and open up opportunities for our young people. And they also provide that link, if you like, between the employers and the young people to build up relationships. The employers come down and volunteer and get involved in providing our employment job ready classes so they can actually help with CV writing, interview technique, and also to give them con confidence, if you like, to think, actually, I could work there. I've met someone from a big bank, I've met someone from a big legal firm, I could work there, they're normal people, and vice versa. A lot of it's about the employers seeing actually we can employ these young people. So that's a crucial part of, of the project really, is breaking down them barriers between people who are working and are secure and maybe young people who are not working and maybe have got a lot of insecurities.